Man, bro, see, <laughs> let me cut this down. Dog, this shit, dog, this shit was fucked up, but it was funny at the same time, bro. But I really just lifted, I really just lifted the uh, lady spirit, son, this homeless lady, son. The power of words, son. I swear, sometimes I be feel like, man, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> the power of words, my ass. But in real life, that shit really do, it really do work sometimes. The power of words, you know I mean? So this the situation. I'm uh coming down Norman C. Francis, you hear me? For people who knew y'all knew. So they had this little uh, white lady. Uh she she dog, I ain't lying. It looked like she it looked like she done missed a couple meals, bro. She was eating on a bag of Cheetos. She got the sign. And uh, you know, ain't nobody paying up paying no attention to her. Everybody, everybody keep passing. But it's a red light now. And so I'm pulling up and uh she like, you know, trying to show me the sign. And I'm like, shit. You know, like I can't help you. And then, and uh, so she parted, she stuck her middle finger. So, yeah, man, naturally, he did somebody it's like fuck, stick your middle finger at you. Like, man, fuck you, yeah. And so, it's like I got it out. I rolled down the window and got it out. But then it's like I caught myself because I'm like, Bitch. and I'm and I caught myself and I because I had to think about it and put myself in the shoe because I've been homeless before, yeah, man. And and it's like. Your mind, son. When you in a when you in a situation for so long, son. When you in a certain situation for so long, your mind, your mind start to think differently, and like you really be, you really. So I had to put myself in that in that position. Like if I was homeless and I'm looking for help and nobody like they want to help me, and you really be feeling like man, fuck people, like fuck y'all, y'all. You know y'all don't give a fuck about people and shit like that. Like that's how your mind start to think. And so I put myself in there, but I had to, I tried to tell her, you hear me, like, bruh, I want to help you. Like, if I could help you, I would help you, believe me. But, and I'm really, like, running it down, uh, like, in this short little period of time, I'm really trying to run it down, like, I ain't in no position to help you. Like, I really just had to hustle all this little money to do, you know, this different shit, Mother's Day, all that, my children. I got three daughters, you hear me, I'm trying to explain all this to her. Like, I'm the only one working in my house with all this. Like, I'm really telling all this. And I'm like, man, if I fuck around and give you what I don't have, because I don't even have it right now. I don't got no cash on I'm on my card. You hear me? So I'm like, what, I'm going to run to each I don't got the time to do it. I got to go pick my daughter up from school right now. She waiting on me. I've been supposed to go pick up. I'm dropping my girl off to a Mother's Day dinner thing and all this with her mama and all this. Like, you just gave her the last cash I had out of my pocket so she, you know, could pay for her shit. And so I'm like, if I, what I could give you, I can't give you nothing. If I give you what I don't have, I'm going to be out here with you trying to shake a sign. And I ain't about to do it. You hear me? And, uh, you know, she laughed or whatever like that. But I'm like, you know, I don't know your situation. Just like you don't know my situation. But believe me, you is not the only one going through it. Like, you hear me? Yeah, everybody, somebody, shit worse than yours. Some you, you know, your situation worse than mine. But we all got our own situations we dealing with. So you know, instead of flicking somebody, oh, like fuck you, don't give up. You hear me? Like just keep, just keep going. You hear me? Like I told, you, I've been there before, but shit, shit turned around for me. But it was my, it was my determination. I'm like, I ain't, ain't about to happen. You hear me? Yeah, I had to do some wicked shit to get from out of that homeless situation but i said i vowed to myself it'll never happen again you hear me me and my partner we were homeless for a whole two days <laughs> see i don't give a fuck nigga laughing like man you was not homeless see listen i was homeless for a whole two days me and my partner we slept on the park bench we went slept in the fucking utility shed you hear me in these apartments so I don't give a fuck. I don't care if it was just for two days. I don't care if it was just for two hours. I experienced being homeless. And it is not no fire feeling. That's why I said, fuck that. When hit a lick and turned it around, and it did, I came up and got myself out of that situation and said I'd never go back again. So it all burrowed down and telling her, you hear me? Just don't, don't, you know, don't give up your fight. Keep on trying to fight, you hear me? Man, man. You never know what's gonna happen for you. Like it did. It, it all depend on your heart. It all depend on your your you know your your uh your will, your willpower, son. Like if you gonna just give up, then that's on you. You hear me? Like I don't know.
You probably want drugs. I don't know. Yeah, man. But if them drugs better than eating every day and being clean and having somewhere nice to lay and nice clothes and all that shit, and hey, that's that's what you choose to each his own. But ain't no drugs that good to me. <laughs> ain't no drugs that good to me, though. Fuck that. Because it's easy to, it's easy to mouthpiece and parade and play to get a few dollars and get some little, get a few little drugs or whatever. Fuck, instead of smoking them bitches or using them bitches, go sell that shit. You hear me, man? Like, fuck. Like I say, it's all on you. It's like, it's all on how you see shit. It's all on how you, yo, yo, how you look at shit. Your perspective. You hear me? Everybody's perspective not the same. Like, motherfucker be sitting there saying, I can't get out this hole. I can't get out this situation. And God giving you the shit you need, but you ain't using it the right way. Like I said, with the drugs. Motherfucker be out here talking about they on drugs and all that. And the drug got the hole on them and all that shit like that. Man, my nigga, you can get that shit, sell a little bit, use a little bit, get that money, buy some more, sell some more, use a little more, get some more, and keep going and keep going, build yourself up. You got to get some discipline with yourself, you hear me? That's the, what's wrong with a lot of people. Now they don't got no discipline with themselves, son. They too, they, they been too evil. Everybody want this shit too fast. Everybody want instant gratification. It don't work like that, son. Like, you hear me? Some people that's millionaires now, they wasn't a millionaire three years ago, two years ago, four years ago. You hear me? They had to keep on grinding, keep on going through that shit. They had to go through that nagging ass bitch on their side. Oh, Lord, you just, I'm tired of this shit. When are we gonna stop being poor? And all that, but they had to keep going and keep going. And they, and they dream finally popped off. You hear me? And now motherfucker looking at them side eye, but you wasn't with them them cold nights. You wasn't with them them hot days. You wasn't with them them sleepless nights. You hear me? And that's, and that's, and that's why I always try to tell people don't nobody owe you nothing in life, son. Nothing. Because the same way nobody owe you nothing, you don't owe nobody nothing either. For real. For real, my nigga. Don't nobody owe you nothing and you don't owe nobody nothing either, son. Nigga be looking at, uh, like, it's a situation I ain't gonna get into details. But motherfucker be trying to tell me my brother pulled to do this and that for me and this and that for me. And I be like, no, he ain't. You hear me? Because that man built his own shit up. So what it look like him saying, well, that's, I don't give a fuck. That man don't owe me a motherfucking thing. You hear me? For real. So, dog, I don't know what to tell people, son. But for people who think like that, like somebody owe you something, or somebody got to give you something because they your mama, your daddy, your brother, sister, uncle, whatever. Man, don't nobody owe you nothing. Don't nobody owe you nothing, son. For real, you wasn't with them in the shoot. How that boy said he wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Then they don't owe you a motherfucking thing. <laughs> you hear me? For real, I'm out because I don't be liking to be. I be liking to practice safe driving. You hear me? So I'm gonna kind of keep safe driving. But I just want to come share that with y'all because it just happened. You hear me? But I'm out.